how different was it for you last fall in the bubble in Edmonton, bringing the cup out, Tampa Bay Lightning having just won it in an empty arena? What was that experience like? It was different, but what really stuck in my mind, Chris, was there was dead silence. The, the Lightning were there just staring at us, walking it out. And Commissioner Bettman was behind us. All 52 of them were on the ice. The players, the coaches, the trainers, everybody. And there wasn't a word spoken as we walked out. And it was it was really neat to be part of that, to, to see see it all and hear it all without the crowd. What happened with the cup from there? Take us through, I guess, the next 24 hours or so. It was so intimate for the players. And I, I remember talking to Pat Maroon who had won it last year in St. Louis, and then to be part of it this year, to do a comparison, because all the other guys had never experienced it before. But Pat was saying last year, I mean, everybody was in there. I mean, and you know, it's a 30 person dressing room that has 300 people in it. Well, this time <laughs> it had less than 60. So it was a totally different experience. But they spent it with their their direct teammates, but I'm sure they missed their family and friends to share it with because with, they all know without them, they can't get to that point. I mean, saying that, so they finish their celebration, but they still are in the bubble. They can't leave the bubble. They can't go out in Edmonton or that because officially they're in the bubble. So the, the celebration continued in the hotel that was attached to the arena there. And then we uh, took the bus out to the airport in the morning and we're uh, all set to go. And I remember the two Canada Customs people coming on because obviously not only you have COVID rules and regulations, but you're crossing an international border now. So Canada Customs comes on and they've got to check everyone's passport. I think it was Victor Hedman or maybe Steve Stamco said, come and get a photo of the cup. So the, and the cup was sitting right in the aisleway. I mean, they had no choice. It, it was, I'm sure for the Canada Customs guys, they, I mean, they did their job. They got some great photos and I'm sure it's a story they're gonna share forever, but it, it's one that had to be told and they had to do their job. And then we had the five hour trip to to Tampa and it was a, it was a great, great flight, great celebration as, as we landed in Tampa and the guys got to see their families for the first time in 65 days. And it was very emotional.